Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom area. I want to talk to you a little bit about some modifications to my cordage management system based on this inline toggle system that I picked up from several guys. And I like to give credit where credit's due when I can, but a lot of times you can't really find the right person to give the credit to. I give credit to Blackie Thomas because that's where I saw it. He saw it from Felix. Felix saw it from a guy in Germany. The guy in Germany, I'm sure, saw it from someone else and on down the line. There's not a whole lot of new things in bushcraft, so I can only give credit where I saw it from, which was Blackie Thomas. But I've adapted this into my system now, and it's working really, really well for different applications. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to show you a couple things that I talk about in my cordage, man cordage management system that this is really conducive to as well. And we'll talk through that real quick today. Stay with me. Okay, so I've taken these Delrin toggles and I've also put them on my guy lines or my six foot lines that I keep in my pocket and on my tarps. And the reason I did that was because they are a self-locking system that when you pull them down, they lock in place to tighten your tarp. And then you've got a loop here that will slide, but this doesn't slide. Once it's locked, it's locked in place. You can still move the loop if you wanted to, but you're not loosening up the tarp at that point. If you wanna loosen the tarp, you've gotta lift up on the toggle and pull it and then you can go right back to that tight position again just by holding on to things and pulling down again keeping this in place and pulling down and pulling down and it stays tight so how's that set up it's pretty simple really so what we have is we have a utility line here with a bowling knot in one end a stop knot in the other end and a half inch by one and a half inch delrin toggle and this is the same thing i'm using on my ridge line in the system we talked about that was developed by a guy in Germany, Felix Ilmner, Blackie Thomas, all those guys are using similar setups right now. So all I'm doing with this is I'm taking the tarp and I'm putting the loop through the tarp and I'm basically using this Delrin toggle almost like a Marlin spike hitch. So if this was my loop and this was my Marlin spike, I'm basically trapping it, which is what you would do, just like this. So now I've got that hitch in the loop and that self-locking comes in on this loop that you're pulling on. So if you loosen that loop up, just like this, now this loop becomes your stakeout point. And as you tighten down, it self-locks. To put this in and give yourself a loop is just to creep this thing up toward the end of this before you start, put that in there just like that and hold it. Then you can slide this loop over the top of your stake or drive a stake in beside it. And then all you have to do is pull down to tighten it up. The beauty of this on a line like this or on your utility line is that it gives you a locking device. So it almost gives you a zip tie that comes undone very easy. So if you were gonna do something like put this on a roll and tighten up some type of a roll, you could do the same thing very easily. You would just take this Delrin toggle and move it up Take your loop around whatever you want to tighten up, trap that Delrin toggle in it like this, and then pull down. And as you pull down, it's going to tighten up. Now, one of the other things I've always spoken to with these utility ropes is that I keep them a certain length, six feet. If you look at my cordage and utility management system, you'll be able to see that. But the reason for that was because a six foot length of cordage is the only one I have that's shorter than a bundle of cordage like a ridgeline. However, this toggle makes it even more conducive because one of the things I've talked about in the past is if you have to connect two of these lines together to make a rope to rope connection so that you have a longer piece of rope, say you needed longer than six foot, maybe you needed 10 foot to reach a tree that you were tying off to. You could do a loop to loop connection, connecting the two loops together to form a reef. But now you could also do a loop to toggle connection like this and give you the exact same thing to extend the length of a line. And you're gonna give yourself a toggle on one end and you're gonna give yourself a loop on the other end. So now you just have a 12 foot piece of utility rope instead of six feet. And all you did was make a rope, a loop to toggle connection to make that happen. All right, well listen guys, I appreciate you joining me out here today for another quick video on some cordage management and some improvements to the cordage management system. I appreciate your views and I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I hope to see you at a class out here someday or a Pathfinder gathering. But in the meantime, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks. Thanks.